Well, the situation is the West believe that Russia is stealing Crimea. Moscow argues it's protecting ethnic Russians from the effects of an unconstitutional coup in Ukraine. Well, that scenario does have echoes of a previous conflict, Cyprus, 1974, a time when a Greek Cypriot coup led to a Turkish invasion to protect Turkish Cypriots in the north and to create a separate republic. Well, guess what? That dispute's still not fully resolved. And with me is Sir Edward Clay, who was the British High Commissioner to Cyprus from 1999 to 2001. Sir Edward, thanks for coming in. Uh, remarkable um, parallels here between the two. Can you draw much from that? Probably not much that's very useful. After all, the Turkish intervention was 40 years ago, and the treaty under which they claimed their right to intervene was another 10 years before that. It seems like a different era. It seems as different from the 21st century as the 20th century was from the 19th. But what it, ha what it did, of course, was bring in another power into Cyprus, which has never, with, effectively, never put its hands up and said, all right, we'll go again, in, in a way. And isn't that perhaps the risk that we see with Crimea, that it, they are, it's easy to do, it's easy to start a, a, a situation like this, can be virtually impossible to untangle it again? It is very difficult. Uh, it is 40 years, as I said, to, since the Turkish intervention. It seems that there are now talks uh, about which people are mo more hopeful than they have been for years uh, to settle the Cyprus problem. But it still won't be settled, and some of the divisions will persist for generations. There are already divisions, uh, long-standing ones, between so-called loyalists and nationalists in both communities. Those will persist. Ukraine is, is a country, you know, a hundred times larger. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's a terrifying prospect, I think, for, for Russia to live with such a large uh, neighbour with a population which will be suspicious and resentful for so long. There's a huge ball and chain around a Russian foot, ironically, in many ways. And also, when we look at the, the, the sort of Cypriot history, questions about ownership of profit, property, about uh, you know, appropriation, those go on forever. Presumably, we're, we're walking straight into some of those relative side issues at the moment, but they're going to be there forever. I suppose they will, um, unless the two states uh, come to some agreement about about them um, before forcible action is taken to expropriate properties uh, and businesses and so on. And you would see the Crimea situation briefly as dragging out. It's not there is no easy way out now. Uh, it's very difficult to see an easy way out. I mean, I hope there there should be, um, and all of Europe really would want to see this kind of intervention, whatever legal basis is claimed for it, and it's pretty spurious. I mean, banished from this millennium. Sir Edward Clay, thank you very much indeed. Thank you.